Hi, it's Boomer again. I want to show you how to do a couple more knots. We worked on the knot in one of our meetings uh, in person. So now I want to show you how to use uh, two sliding knots that you can use for camping. One's called a taut line hitch and the other is called a prussic loop. Okay, so what you're going to need is something to tie around, and I'm going to show you how to practice doing your taut line hitch. So you want to take your rope and put it around whatever object you're tying it to, right? And you want to leave a fair amount of slack to work with, and you're going to take one side and you're going to put it over the other side, right? And then what you're going to want to do is just kind of wrap it around a couple times. So you're going to wrap it around once and wrap it around twice. And that gives you a couple little curls. Then here's the tough part. You want to come over top. So you're, you've wrapped it around and you're just going to go over top of your two curls. And you want to make sure that you're going over top of the piece of rope that they're wrapped around as well. So now it's over top of everything, and then you're just going to stick it underneath through that hole, and then just pull it tight. That's a taut line hitch. All right, and the neat thing about it, they call it a taut line hitch because you've now hitched it to a piece of wood, so it's attached. And if the rope is loose, right, you can slide the knot up and down the rope. So you can make your loop bigger, right? And that'll help to make the line taut, right? And while it's taut, right, it shouldn't slide. But then if you grab the knot and you slide it, you can make it looser again. And then if you grab the knot and you slide it the other way, you can make it tighter again. So it should look just like that. Okay, so here's one of the things you can use your taut line hitch for when you're camping, right? Making a clothesline so you can hang things to dry. Right. So I've already got my piece of rope attached to one other thing, and so here's how I'm going to make my clothesline tight. I'm going to use my taut line hitch. So I put it around an object, right? And I put it over, and I wrap it around once, twice. I've got my curls, and then I come over top of my curls, and then I go underneath, and I pull it up tight. I've got my taut line hitch now, All right? Now, it's just a matter of making my clothesline tight. So this is how we use it. Use it by sliding the top line hitch. And as we slide it, it makes the line tighter and tighter. And see, when I let it go, right, the knot doesn't slide back. I have to grab the knot and slide it, make it loose again, right? So a taut line is a taut is also another word for tight. So if I want to make my line tight, right, I just keep sliding the knot and making it tighter and tighter. So now my clothesline is tight. Okay, now that your clothesline is tight, you know, I want to attach something to it uh, in order to hang an item from your clothesline. So this is where we use our prussic loop. So we're going to start with a loop of rope and you can attach your two ends of rope using the reef knot that, or square knot that we learned before, right? And all you're going to do is you're going to put the loop over top of the rope, just like that, right? Hang it over the rope. Then you're going to put one end through, right? You're gonna, so it goes th through the loop on one side and then just pull it up like that, right? And you can see now it's attached to the, the rope. Now, what we're gonna do is so, sometimes people just loop it through just once and it's attached, it's not going anywhere, 
right? Uh, but when we do a prusik loop, right, we're actually going to wrap it one more time around and put it down through the middle again. Right. So we actually get two curls around there, and then we're going to push all the curls together, right? And now it's attached to the rope, and you can hang something from there. Now the nice thing, right, as I said, these are both sliding sliding knots, is when there's weight on it, right, it grips the rope and it won't go anywhere, right? I can't pull it, right? But if I grab the if I grab the knot on the rope, I can slide it. So I can actually move things that are on my clothesline, and I can move them to a different part of the line. So if I want to hang something here, right, but then later I want to move it and I want to hang something else, I can slide it back and forth. But, right, if it's just hanging and the wind, say the wind blows it, the knot will grip and it won't go anywhere, right? So if you're pulling on the rope, it grips the rope and it won't slide. But if you pull on the knot, it'll slide back and forth.